I used to think Candace Owens was wild until I saw this video, and now I'm convinced she is straight savage, okay? She has gone far off the ledge of savagery. I'm about to show you this video of Candace Owens um, reacting to a video about a woman who is bragging about being a childless 29-year-old who gets to do whatever she wants. And there, the, uh, Candace Owens is on a panel, and a lot of the women on the panel disagree with Candace, but guess what? Candace Owens somehow manages to silence the crowd and give them facts while putting out the message of God, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put this video on. I wouldn't watch this around children because there is some women who have on some clothing that is not suitable for children. So if you're around children, I would suggest you to not let them see this. Let's go ahead and react to this video right now. Uh, a video went pretty viral on the internet and Candace, you actually tweeted about it. Something about Shashuka. I don't know if I'm oh, saying that right. Um, so Nick, if you can pull a video, we're gonna just have the panel react to it. And then before you go full screen on that, so Matt Walsh posted it, and I saw this everywhere. I saw it yesterday. Uh, her life doesn't revolve around her family and kids, so instead it revolves around TV shows and pop stars. Worst of all, she's too stupid to realize how depressing this is. And then Candace, uh, Shout out quote, Matt Walsh. X'd it, quote tweeted, I don't know anymore. X'd it. He, okay, quote X'd it. This is what this is what was future wait this is Let what was oh, okay this is what a yeah. future this is what a this is what future, future depression. sorry uh future depression xanax and wine combo nights alone looks like but hey the wow. shashuka gonna be amazing um so <laughs> even her like quotes and, and tweets are savage man she she gives this edge of confidence and facts and, and mix it together to make like the 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 Candace Owens recipe for disaster, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's play the video. Nick, if you can go full screen on it, and then we'll get the panel's I'll reaction. The Xanax wine nights. It's 10.45 a.m. on a Saturday. Wine. I'm 29 and single, and I don't have kids yet. Here's what your Saturday morning looks like when you're single at 29 and you don't have a kid running around the house. I didn't rise from my bed until 10.15. Every time I thought, I should probably get up and do something. I thought, why? Nobody's making me. I'm not missing out on anything. I went to Beyonce last night, and I didn't get home until 1 a.m. And I danced and drank my little heart out, and I didn't pay a babysitter to watch my kids as I did that. And I woke up a tad hungover this morning, which is probably why. I was in bed for so long and I was just scrolling on my phone and I saw a picture of shakshuka and I thought you know what sounds really good maybe I'm gonna learn how to make shakshuka today because I have no plans and I don't have kids and I don't have a husband and I don't have errands to run I can go to the grocery store and learn sounds how to make depressing. shakshuka so that's on my agenda today also on my agenda probably a rewatch of some Real Housewives of New York I'm also doing a rewatch of Normal People on Hulu which is really spicy and I highly recommend weirdly I'm into this documentary on Netflix about blue zone countries so I've got a pretty stacked day anyway I say all this to say whenever I'm hard on myself about why I'm not married and I don't have kids and I should be further along at 29, almost 30. I wouldn't want to do anything else this Saturday. And I know that you can do all these things when you have kids and you're married and I understand, but the effortlessness and ease of my life, just kind of focusing on myself and the shakshuk I want to make or the Beyonce concert I want to go to really pays off when I'm hard on myself for not being where society tells me I should be in life. I thought I thought it was gonna be really her going sha sha sha. <laughs> What's the analysis here? I mean, it went crazy viral because Matt Walsh tweeted it. Let's be real. That would have just gone into the ethosphere on TikTok, and no one would have talked about it had he not picked that up and tweeted it. Well, was Matt? I don't know if Matt Walsh was the, like the first. He person. was. Oh, was yeah. he really? Okay, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that. But I guess my. What's interesting to me is that this woman has actually even said you know she gives herself a hard time she wants to be married she wants to have children so i don't think that it's right to demonize her and act like she's going to have a depressing life when she just hasn't found the right person because clearly she wants those things and she's trying to make herself feel better and other people in that community feel better about not being I doubt that for a long because like you said you wanted people to settle down with the right person take their time figure out if that's the right person so just because she's 29 you're saying that it's like too late for her and she's going to be doing xanax and drinking wine at night no. because she hasn't reached that point i didn't yet. say no, that that's not what my tweet said but you first that? and foremost let's not let's not pretend this is one video that she made it's her brand on tiktok it's her brand on social media she talks about these these are this community known as dinks 
we're happy and we're childless. She talks about how great it is to be childless. So she has developed a, she's a social media influencer that talks about childlessness. So let's not pretend this is one woman making a video who just said, oh, I had a great Saturday. There's absolutely no reason if you had a great Saturday at 29 years old and you learned to make shashuka and you slept in at 11 until 11.15 or 10.15, whatever she said, that you need to bring up children. There's absolutely no reason. You just say, here's what I did today. Facts. I laid in all day. I did this. I did that. The fact that she has to correlate it to saying, and this somehow makes me better than people that have children is the problem. Exactly. She, exactly. she started, she, she literally goes on to talk about not having children. It wasn't necessary in this video. So it's not like people are just shaming single women on the internet. You could go on right now and talk about what you've done all day and there's no reason to bring up, but you know, having a child. Look at a the child girl in the back. She's actually doing the shaming and now we're trying to pretend that she's the victim. She's not, she has a brand where she talks about childlessness and she talks about leaning into selfishness and all the things that are amazing about not having children. Again, this is not the first video that she's produced. So the reason why, and if you're a man watching this, don't marry this woman. She's basically telling you she's selfish. She's telling you she's a narcissist. Everything she says is about me, 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 me. Even yep. if you're single, you don't have to make your whole day revolve around you. <laughs> you don't have That's to. Facts. You can get up in the morning. You can go help others. You can do other things. You can say, now that I have free time as a single woman, I can go dedicate time to the church. I can sing, I can do this, I can help people find God. That particular woman that you just looked at is a selfish <laughs> shouldn't should mention not marry her. That's my personal wow. opinion. You wanted I, to come in really quick? Yeah. One second, real quick. So look, and this is my take on this whole thing. Don't try to make your, let, I'm gonna use the scenario Burger King and, and McDonald's. McDonald's is the family, the one that has the children, the husband, the wife, that's McDonald's. Burger King is the single people they go out and do whatever they want all day and have no, res no responsibilities. Don't make your Burger King sandwich try to look appetizing to us McDonald's lovers, okay? And don't try to shame us McDonald's lovers because we would prefer to have this family and, and the marriage and this life that God wants us to live rather than to be single and party and get drunk and, and wake up in the middle of the day. And we don't, we don't want that side. But don't try to make our side look bad. That's the whole point of this. Like her whole video was making the marriage and kids side sound like it's so much, but her side is this easy burden where she gets to wake up and do whatever she wants. But trust me, you're 29, 30. You don't have so much years left. You're probably going to end up having a cat. You're not going to have children or you're going to be able to adopt children, but you're never going to have children of your own unless you stop doing all this stuff and find a husband and get married and have kids. I can sing. I can do this. I can help people find God. That particular woman that you just looked at is a selfish bitch and men shouldn't should men should not marry her. That's my personal opinion. You wanted I, to come in really quick? Yes. I wanted to answer your question real quick as to you said why it went viral. Sure. I think it went viral because it's like nowadays it's like it's relatable in our day and age. You know what I mean? Like 22, 23 years old. I don't know how old this girl is, but like 29, 20, 29 or whatever, but in my day and age, like, it's relatable to be like, haha, we don't got kids, like, quote, you're unquote, 22. you know what I mean? It's like, I'm glad it's, you're admitting wow. it's like that. I'm glad like, you're admitting it's, that. It's wow. like a term that people use, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's just relatable. It's like, that's why it gets so many views is what to answer your question. I think that's really honest of you to say that. You wanted to come in? Yeah. Them kids. Yeah. No, I said, <laughs> I'm just going to, I was just, <laughs> she is so savage. She didn't care about none of the other stuff she said. She's like, yeah, I think it's really honest that you're saying F those kids. Because, like, come on now, seriously, man? That's how we're, like, why is that so relatable, though? That's the bad part. That's the part that, that it shouldn't be like. That's what they say. Yeah, you know but you're mean? admitting that that, so that she's start, starting the fight. You're looking and at people that are moms. That are trending. Like, I don't, when, I, trend. I'm, when I'm with my kids, right. I don't post bi videos and say F them single chicks with no kids. Right. right. She did the baiting, okay, and we responded. That's it. I right. don't know. Like it's the first thing I was going to say. Hold on. Let's just let Essie yeah. go ahead. Go the ahead. first thing I noticed about the video was that she was putting people with kids down. It'd be fine if she was talking about how her day was and wording it differently, but it seemed like almost immediately from the mm. beginning of the video that she was belittling people with kids, which I think is like the part of the problem. Mm. Pixie, go ahead. Yeah, no, I think this is like up to interpretation because personally, when I saw that video, my interpretation was like, oh, she's putting herself down because she's saying like, oh, you know, when I tell myself, why am I not further along in life? You know, it's okay because at least I'm enjoying these things. So I could definitely see, like, depending on how you're looking at it or if you have further context, why you would think she's putting kids down. But when I saw that video by itself, I was thinking, like, people are kind of going a little bit overboard in the sense that 
she says she's being harsh on herself. She doesn't have children. And these are just the things that have made her happy today. And I don't think that by itself, without additional context, is inherently wrong. Mm. I don't really agree with that. Anybody else? Tara? I don't agree with that. And let me, t- let me tell you why. Because I feel like she is being condescending to those that do have a family. I don't think she's putting herself down. I think she is trying to support support her mindset of not wanting to have kids by making have uh, having kids and having a family and doing all that by making it sound bad. I think she wants to make her lifestyle sound good because it's like she said, the majority, the people in society are telling her that she should have kids around this age, which is normal. The majority of people do it and she's not that majority. So she's trying to make the other side, the normal majority sound bad by making her sound good. That's what I feel like. She's not putting herself down. The things that have made her happy today. And I don't think that by itself without additional context is inherently wrong. Mm. Anybody else? Tara, did you? Yeah. Did I say it right this time? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the background of what other types of content and messaging she puts out, but just from that video alone, I don't think I it, she ever, to me, I never got the impression she was shaming people that did that women that were married to kids, it felt like she felt bad that she wasn't already there and she was just trying to be optimistic about it. And so I think it, it sounded more like her content was about making women who are childless and not married yet and are approaching the end of their reproductive years to like look on the bright side. But I really, and I'm, I'm the, nah. I, all my friends know I'm like so eager and ready for like marriage and kids, but um, I, I really honestly just didn't get that impression from that video alone that it was, she was in any way so when she was Shame. talking about, I got to go to a Beyonce concert and I didn't have to pay for a babysitter. You yeah. don't think that was no, a little like bit? Yeah, she was, that was obviously selfish of her exactly. to say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's being selfish and, she's and she was that. being rude. And if, if it was flipped and a conservative woman with children said the opposite of that right. to single women, it would blow up. It would blow up. And they right. would say, exactly. how rude of you to, why are you even mentioning single women? Just say you had, you had a good day with your kids. That's yeah. fine. If I said I, I woke like up, went to the park with my kids, did that, okay chill why are you correlating it to children it doesn't you know it doesn't make any sense so and like i said she's produced more content so that the context is important she's leaned into this as a brand and as an influencer so you know then you're going to expect the people that influence people to have families to respond matt walsh being among them me being among them and i do would like to again warn men against marrying a woman who holds those sorts of perspectives because she's ultimately just selfish. Like I said, you can have a day and you can be single. You don't have to dedicate your whole day. It's me, 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 narcissist, me. Here's what I did for me. It's just not a woman that you want to marry full stop for leaving apart, leave, leaving the kids totally separate from it. I wouldn't marry a woman like that. Mm. Go ahead. You and all to I'm saying in. is like, it is, it's sad, but it's that crazy point. that like, it's a trend. You know what I mean? Like it that's is. why they're getting so many views on TikTok or Instagram or whatever they're posting these things on. It's like, it's a trend. Yeah. And it, yeah, you know, it's crazy. I know Candace Owens, um, she's a Christian. I know that she may not have everything put together and she doesn't hide the fact that she's not, you know what I'm saying? I like, uh, I've, of course, even in this video, she said a curse word that what people would deem to be, you know, you shouldn't say as a Christian. And, and it, although that's true, um, let's continue to pray for her, to pray for her to uh, get deeper into God and to continue on in the faith and, and to eventually let go of anything that may hold her back or hinder her from being all that she can be in the, in the name of Jesus. But with that being said, she straight up slaughtered them. She straight up slaughtered them. She is a savage. I love the way that she speaks. I love her elegance. I love her intelligence. I love the way that she's able to argue with facts and she doesn't get flustered. She's just, man, she's too good. She's too good. I'm glad she's on our side and not the other side. It'd be hard to combat somebody like her. But anyways, look, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the video in the comment section. If you're new to this channel and you like what you've seen, uh, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you do not miss another video, okay? I will see you all on the next video. Until next time, I'm out.